Hello everyone and welcome to the Mass and Drum Whiskey Room and What's on the Shelf Wednesday. In this series I do quick reviews of whiskeys that you could find on the shelf including bourbons, ryes, Irish whiskeys and scotch. What's on the shelf today, the newest member of the Ardbeck family, it's the Wee Beastie. This new expression is Ardbeg's first new single malt scotch whiskey to be added to its core range since the release of the Ardbeg Trayvon 19 in August 2019. Though supply of that expression is limited to annual batch releases and has a steep price of about 300 bucks. What's interesting is in the past Ardbeg fans have had to wait as long as 8 years for new permanent bottling to be added to the core range. Now before the release of an OA in 2017, the last new core expression had been my personal favorite, the Core of Yekin, which was launched in 2009. Now as Ardbeg prepares for the completion of its distillery expansion, which will double the distillery's capacity, this could be an indication of more special releases and possible core range releases as well. So today we are talking about the Ardbeg Wee Beastie 5 year, which is a new addition to the core lineup. Uh, yes, it's only five years old. We Beastie's young age statement is a throwback to the rare Ardbeg Very Young, Still Young, and Almost There expressions from the early 2000s, which highlights the distillery's distinctive peated style and quality at young ages, and also helped map out the evolution into Ardbeg 10. The Ardbeg Wee Beastie 5 year has been matured in a combination of ex bourbon barrels and Oloroso Sherry Butts. It's non chill filtered and bottled at 47.4% ABV. This is available now for a price around 45 to 50 bucks. All right, so let's get into the Wee Beastie. I can't do a Scottish accent. I'm from New York, I'm just gonna kill it. The Wee Beastie. <laughs> All right. So uh, I don't know if you saw in the close-up of the bottle, it has has a actually really uh, cool label on the bottom. It says a monster of a dram. Um, great marketing from Ardbeg as usual. But let's get into the nose and see what we get first on the Wee Beastie. Here we go. This is fruitier than I thought it would be on the uh, front of the nose here. It's uh, very uh, like pear and apple, a little bit of honey. Man, almost getting like a little bit of a chocolate note there too. One of my favorite notes on an Ardbeg is like this glazed ham type uh, note to it, which definitely get on the Wee Beastie as well. It's very sweet on the nose. You definitely get some of the smoke. You definitely get some of the peat there. There is a brininess in the glass as well, but way sweeter than I thought on the nose here. All right, let's go for a taste. Here we go. Cheers. Oh man, that is just... Whew. The nose does not match the, the palate on that one to me at all. <laughs> the nose was very sweet. It was, like, like I said, pears, glazed ham, uh, apple, a little bit of honey there. But then on the palate, man, just an explosion of smoke, black pepper, a ton of black pepper. It's like spicy, almost like there's um, like cayenne pepper in, in there a little bit. It's very spicy. You get like that Ardbeg smoky bacon type note on the back of the palate as well. A little bit of like, um, like, like fresh laid blacktop. Is that what they, they say like creosote or tar? It has like that type of profile to it. That's crazy. Let's go for another sip. Wow. And just like I love in Ardbeg's second sip, now you get a little bit sweeter here. Hint of a raspberry I'm getting a little bit there. That chocolate note is still there coming through as well. Mm. Definitely get the pears, the apples on the back of the palate. But it's all, this is like, like smoked fruit. And then it's like doused with cayenne pepper on it. Plus some, uh, you know, put a little glaze of, 
of blacktop on there as well. <laughs> Man, that is strong. They, it's definitely a beast for a reason, a little wee beastie. Go for another sip. Wow, the third sip's getting even easier. A little bit sweeter. So the finish on this, it's a little bit salty. You get that brininess. Still get some, um, I think I'm getting a little bit of vanilla, caramel notes too from the ex-bourbon cask a little bit as well coming through. But still, that meatiness, the, the glazed ham, the bacon, little hint of chocolate there. Definitely those dried fruits, the, the, the uh, apples or the, or the peaches, dusted with cayenne pepper. This thing is a little bit of a beast. It, it doesn't, it kind of messes with you, messes with your head. You take a sniff of this and you think, wow, that actually smells kind of nice and sweet. It's going to be delicate and flavorful. And then you take a sip and this thing punches you right in the mouth. It does have some really good smoke flavors, but it's also very sweet. So I read the term uh, wee beastie is sometimes referred to small, annoying Scottish mosquitoes, which show up in swarms and bite you like crazy. Um, so because our bag wee beastie has that strong bite, like the mosquitoes, um, like the bite of a young single malt scotch with intense smoke and strong pepper and spice notes. So that's where the name Wee Beastie supposedly came from. One last sip, then I'm gonna do a quick comparison. Here we go. Yeah, it's good, it's really solid. It's, it's definitely um, gotten a little bit sweeter as you keep sipping on it. Not nearly as um, powerful like it is on the first sip, like a normal Isla is, especially Ardbeg. But the flavors start interweaving together. It's not overly complex. You definitely get some of the really good sweet, salty notes. Definitely get the smoke. A little bit of the, like I said, the pears, the apples. But everything is just dusted with this cayenne pepper spice that really just lingers on and on in the palate. All right, so let's compare the Ardbeg Wee Beastie 5 year to the Ardbeg 10 and the Lagavulin 8. The Lagavulin 8 always holds a special place in my heart. It's like the first heavy peated Isla Scotch I fell in love with. And then once I had the Ardbeg 10, I was pretty much hooked. But where I live here in Ohio, we Beastie and Ardbeg 10 are the same price. They're both about 45 bucks. Um, the Lagavulin 8, a little bit older, is only eight bucks. So let's do a quick comparison and see how they stack up to one another. Let's go to the Lagavulin 8 first. The Lagavulin as well, the Lagavulin 8 definitely showcases some of those, uh, those bright fruit notes I was getting on the Wee Beastie. The peaches, the apricots, the apples, definitely a little bit of a, like a cinnamon kick there too. It's much more floral than the Wee Beastie to me. I do like the mix on the Wee Beastie though, the, um, the, the mix of the ex-sherry and the ex-bourbon. The Lagavulin to me is also a little bit more, um, getting a little bit more of a sea air, the saltiness too on the nose here. Both have really delicious noses. All right, let's go for a sip of the Lagavulin 8 and see how it compares, cheers. Yeah, the Lagavulin 8 is a, it's a lot of peach to me. A lot of peaches, apple, definitely the cinnamon is still there on the palate. You get that brininess, a lot of honey too on the palate as well. This one's 48% ABV. But I feel like the Wee Beastie is a little bit more, let's see here. Yeah, the Wee Beastie comes through, but yeah, it just has that cayenne pepper type finish on it. Where the Lagavulin is just a little bit sweeter, a little bit more rounded, especially on the palate. Let's go to the Ardbeg 10, now we're going up to a 10 year. Oh man, the nose on the 10 is so good. Yeah, the 10 is just sea salt, it's honey, it's like burnt toast, it's smoke, it's bacon. <laughs> it's definitely meaty on the nose as well. Yeah, they're they're kind of similar, but I feel like the Wee BC just has a little bit more of a, of a bite to it. Like it smells like it's gonna be spicy, where the 10 is just sweet, meaty, and salty. So that would be kind of the difference. There's some light fruits on the Ardbeg 10 as well, but not as much as I'm getting on the Wee Beastie. Let's go for a sip of the 10. Wow, the 10 on the palate is just beautifully sweet. What a mix of, of, uh, of sweet and savory and salty and smoky. I mean, the, I'm getting a lot of caramel and vanilla notes on the 10. I think it's just primarily ex-bourbon casks. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, definitely not nearly the bite that you're getting on the five year here. A little bit sweeter, more refined. Man, definitely that smoky bacon right on the back end that just lingers on and on. I love the Ardbeg 10. I think as far as complexity, the 10 definitely has it a little bit more. 
Um, I do like the 10, the, the richness and in, in, uh, in sweet flavors to balance out the smoke. The Wee Beastie is definitely kind of two tails of a, of a whiskey. On the nose, it's very sweet, but on the palate, it's very smoky, very punchy in the face, very spicy as well. A little bit of sweetness there too. The Lagavulin 8 is just a little bit more floral. Uh, definitely get some uh, peaches and fruits there. So the number one question here is, why am I gonna pay the same amount for a five year when I could get the 10 year? And there is a difference in flavor profile here when it comes to what's in the Ardbeg 5. And that's that Oloroso Sherry Butt. I think it adds another layer of fruitiness, especially to the nose. The palate is definitely just smoke, spice, a little bit of brininess, but I love that little hint of chocolate that's in there as well. Really good, a little bit of a raspberry bite as well. The Ardbeg 10, it's a little bit more rounded. You still get those quintessential Ardbeg flavors when it comes to uh, the smokiness, the peatiness, a little bit of that bacon glazed ham. Definitely some fruits in there, a little bit of caramel vanilla in the 10, but not as much bite as you're getting in the five. So like I said, it really depends on what type of peated scotch drinker you are. Would I like to see this a little bit cheaper? Yeah, for at a five-year-old scotch, I would love to see this at about 38 to 40 bucks rather than the almost 50 that it is, uh, but that's just me. But I think either way, it's gonna be a great addition to the core lineup and to your bar at home. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this review for the Ardbeg Wee Beastie five-year-old scotch. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram and find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had the Wee Beastie, the five, what you think of it, if you've compared it to other ones or other Ardbeg favorites or just other peated whiskeys that you love. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'm gonna have some more Wee Beastie. Cheers. That's a terrible accent, terrible.